We also must reflect the commitment to continuous improvement because nuclear security work is never done. As long as these materials exist, they require our utmost commitment to their protection. Therefore, we see this 2014 summit that the Netherlands will host and subsequently the 2016 summit that the President has offered to host as critical drivers to make progress. Indeed, when my teenage son asked me last weekend, Mom, why do you have to have summits to do your jobs? I explained to him that the pressure of leaders getting together is an action-forcing event for officials and for sluggish bureaucracies. It mobilizes them to bring forward commitments that give their bosses an opportunity to shine in front of their counterparts. In short, as I explained to this teenager who understood this point, peer pressure matters. <laughs> At the 2014 summit, there's much we will get done. Some of it I can tell you about here, and some of it, unfortunately, has to be held until the summit itself, itself so that those leaders can shine in that moment. We'll step up our efforts to remove HEU and separated plutonium from countries where it is no longer being used. So watch this space for announcements at the summit of significant deliverables, or as you may know in the summit lingo, house gifts. We'll take further steps to strengthen the global nuclear security architecture we are building through these summits and in other ways as well. And this is something that Senator Nunn alluded to, the importance of strengthening this architecture and building what he described. We'll work to build momentum behind the concept of assurances, the voluntary steps that countries can take to demonstrate that they are maintaining the highest standards of nuclear security without disclosing sensitive information. And we will see examples of assurances in progress reports from some of the countries that are leading the way on this important concept, which I would note has been innovated by the work of NTI. As was the case at the 2012 summit, in addition to the practice of house gifts, there will also be gift baskets, which means the statement of collective intent by a number of countries to work together on a specific challenge. At The Hague, we will see commitments aimed at improving security at civilian and nuclear military facilities. Excuse me, I'll state that correctly, at civilian and military nuclear facilities. Returning excess U.S. origin HEU and separated plutonium from a number of countries to the United States, working with countries to convert their research reactors from the use of HEU to low enriched uranium, which is non-bomb making material, strengthening the security of radiological sources, building up efforts to counter nuclear smuggling, and improving nuclear detection at borders and ports. <laughs> 